basically I came up here last night before start surgeries at like 7 30 tomorrow morning um yeah i had to set up everything i already have like the ice machine that you have to have for after because you literally have it strapped to you for like the first week i wanted to just kind of talk about tomorrow because tomorrow's surgery day and honestly i feel like i've been okay this whole last month i've been home like i've been able to do stuff i want to do i've been mobile so that's been good i mean the only thing i really couldn't do was play which is even more frustrating in a way I was like sitting down looking at tiktok videos of acl recoveries and journeys thinking it would make me feel better it did not in fact make me feel better um in fact it made me feel worse because, because like i know what to expect but i didn't actually realize again how much i'm gonna have to be doing like you have to learn to rewalk you can't run for four months i mean you're literally bedridden for like a week at least possibly on crutches for five weeks i mean the list goes on it's just like a lot and while i'm mentally prepared for it i think the best i can be is just kind of more or less hitting me today which fair enough i mean it's tomorrow but i am going to video it so that and kind of see the whole process of an ACL recovery because, to be honest, even though I'll try to do my best to kind of capture what it feels like to really go through that, I don't think anybody will ever understand until you go through it yourself. Not that I would ever want anybody to have to go through this. It's very mentally draining. It's also good to see and to understand if you do have this injury, what you're going to go through. And tomorrow's the first step to getting back on the field, which, you know, I, that's very good to think about i've been doing god knows what the last month so even though in the grand scheme of things since six seven nine months is not that long when you're going through it it's long and it's taxing Ugh, nobody it's it's isolating you know seeing everybody play seeing your teammates play seeing them enjoy doing what you want to be doing is hard and just like you're not an athlete for those few months. I mean, you are, but you aren't. You're not playing your sport. Basically, if I have my meniscus torn, which is a possibility, it didn't show up in the MRI, but that's a possibility when it goes in. That happens like 30 to 40% of the time is what he said when you tear your ACL. You could also possibly tear your meniscus. And considering I heard two pops when I did it, that makes me nervous. Um, but my range of motion has been a lot better than when I did it to the other one. So it's really a toss up. So basically tomorrow I could wake up and find out that I won't be walking for five weeks or I'll be able to walk in like a week. All right, so today is the day. Um, I honestly slept kind of terrible last night. I had terrible spring allergies and couldn't breathe. But I also think I was like subconsciously dreading today. So yeah. Um, we're about to leave soon, but yeah, I'm just like tired. Ugh. So we'll see. I really I'm not excited for this part, but we gotta get through it. So this man just went and got coffee right in front of me. This is so rude. All I want is coffee right now. relaxing drugs so processing things is hard <laughs> but they did the nerve block on my left leg so it should start to feel pretty like numb and I won't be able to feel a lot soon I've been reading this honestly helping a lot it's a very motivational book highly recommend it if you're watching this recovering from an injury or just motivation in general um, so I just woke up and luckily it was only my ACL that's torn. No, I'm meniscus, which is good news because that would mean a lot longer recovery. It hurts quite a bit, but I just took my first pain medication. is 
um second day post op so um it's actually feeling pretty good so um, i can lift my leg which is actually very good for um just the day after i was able to lift it yesterday I can also bend it pretty far when the brace is not on i can walk almost already like with with a little bit of assistance but and i should be kind of like on my feet in a few weeks like and my quad barely atrophied really so that's a good sign i think having like a month to build it up was really helpful because now it's like yeah it's strong and the recovery will be that much faster so now to show you all the drugs um i'm using this for the pain meds so it really knocks me out. I'll take like two of those at night so then I can just like fall asleep without any problems because I made a mistake last time. Last time I was on this, I was like, I don't want to get addicted. So I just didn't take them one night because I thought I was getting like better and didn't take it and woke up in so much pain and crying. <laughs> and then I accidentally ended up taking three because I took one, I think, without realizing that my dad gave me two. I was like so high and happy for like an hour and then crashed and it was so funny but yeah we didn't that's not happening this time and then i have to take this is for like meloxicam i think is for i actually don't know so never mind but then i have an antibiotic so i don't know but yeah and then this ice machine um yeah has been with me since the last time and you just put this thingy on under the brace and it like, ow, and it like, ow. It like fills up with water, like the cold freezing water. And you just keep that on all night and most of the day when it's the first few days. So that's how it's going. I honestly feel pretty good. Going back to the same PT was really helpful because it was like a bunch of familiar faces and I'm feeling really good about it. Um, I love my PTs and they're super sweet and encouraging. Yeah, I think that the progress I made just literally in the first day, it's gonna bounce back a lot faster than I thought. And I'm super excited about that. So feeling really optimistic, feeling good. There's gonna be ups and downs. I'm sure there'll be setbacks, but as of right now, trying to ride this wave of good things. <laughs> Basically today's just been a harder day and it's getting to me. And no, it just wants me somewhere warm and I don't want really like to work. Just simple things. So this was the first bigger outing I tried to do. I tried to go grocery shopping with my dad. I was so nauseous and like exhausted and tired and my knee was just like shooting pain the whole time so frustrated because it's already been like a week and I just want to be able to walk and everybody's on spring break we're in Spain and I'm just like it's 30 degrees here it sucks It really depends on the day because um, I can like stand. I did the dishes because I'm basically turning into my parents. I'm drinking black coffee and I cannot stand on the dishes when I'm done. It like irks me. And, but like, not that I want to be a housewife, but I would be such a good one. I am a chef at this point, basically. And, but also like tell me how people don't know how to cook like you just follow recipe like it's really not that complicated i don't understand like if you keep burning things okay but like i don't understand just like follow you just put some ingredients on there you know it's not that complicated i've spent a lot of time in bed obviously 
and that's fine you know these are the early stages of recovery i feel a lot more optimistic today than previous days because there's ups and downs with everything but i'm doing better Ooh, okay i like this better i should be able to really walk in like a week if i'm not on my meds still i'm not walking because it's painful and that's the other thing. I try to like get off the meds, but then when, every time I do, it's like very painful. And then I just like get upset and cry. So I should, so like I just end up taking them again. And like, I don't want to get addicted. I'm not going to get addicted, but it's like, they're not great for you. So I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> Today's been a lot harder. I just kind of hit a wall today. It started to sink in of like how long this recovery is. And I wanted to also like show this part because it's not easy. It gets really hard to um, like see the light at the end of the tunnel because it's just such a long recovery. And, you know, people are like, Oh, it's like six months. It's not. It's never six months. And like, there's not much I can even do. So, and I mentally prepared myself, I feel like, pretty well, which is why it also sucks because I really feel like I did everything. And I am kind of doing everything I can to keep my mind in like a positive state. But when I'm going to try to do a little. A little take two because I don't want to fucking cry through this whole thing. So, uh, basically, it's been, I've had like a bit of a setback because of the last week or so, I've, or like the bruising in my leg was just like really, really bad. It looked like a zombie leg. So, I just completely stayed off it the whole weekend. And I'm like, you're just so reliant on other people. I'm like, I literally can't do anything. You can't carry anything when you're on crutches. And have not, I wasn't out of the house for like three days. And I'm such a person that like hates being in one place too long. Like I need to like get out of the house. Um, first month is just the hardest. Cause it's just, it just drains you mentally really. Um, and like, I feel like I did everything and I knew that I was gonna, like, I was pre prepared to be sad during this time. But it's different when you actually are. And it's like, it just comes with the injury. And I just remember, I remember being in this place last time. It's not gonna be like this. Like, I'll be walking soon. I mean, I already am kind of walking, but it's still painful. And it's like, I'm hobbling around, so. I don't know. I don't know if this is easier for other people, if that's true, but from what I've seen, like, document, like, it helps to see other people's journey, because I've watched a bunch of other people go through this, and I think it's just as mentally draining on other people, like, you don't get through this process without some tears, you really don't. That being said, I also know like this is my time to be sad like it's okay but so much happens in a week so much progress i think everything passes with time that's literally all this is i mean you gotta put in the work but time is what so it has to go by and it's hard to not feel like in this time you're not like just nothing's happening it's just a harder day so Thought I would share that. It's honestly embarrassing crying, but whatever. If everything's gonna be on social media anyway, it might as well also include some of the bad stuff. Not even the bad stuff, it's just like the downs, you know? And it's always all the ups, all the like, okay, you finally made it, the whole journey and recovery process. It's like motivational, but you also just have to let yourself sit with it, so.
just know that other people go through the same thing with this injury and it's not it's not uncommon to feel this way so